is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Easter, what a special time. What a special day for Christians throughout the world. Christians, whoever they are, whatever language we speak, whatever country we're from, all of us rejoice this day because of Easter. But what makes this day so special? Why has it been since the time of Christ, a day that Christians have rejoiced in, a day that Christians remember with such passion and love? Let's remember a story. There's a story of a teacher who wanted to teach about Easter and what it was all about. So she gathered a lot of plastic eggs and she, you could open them up and put something in them. So she brought them to class one day, her second graders, and she said, all right, I want each of you, I'm going to give each of you an egg, and I want you to put something in the egg that tells me about Easter, that represents, that symbolizes, you understand those words. Oh, yeah, something that reminds us of Easter, they said. Oh, yeah, we know that. Well, they all got an egg. She was afraid to give one student an egg, and that was Stephen. Because, you see, Stephen was a slow learner, very slow and very sickly. So far during that year, the other students hadn't teased him or, or bullied him or anything, and she was happy about that. But the differences were going to be very, very obvious very, very soon. And so she was hesitant, but he took the egg anyways right from her hand. Well, when the day came and they all brought their eggs back, she put them all on the desk because she didn't want to embarrass Stephen. She was sure that he didn't understand what the project was. And so on the desk, she had all these eggs and she opens one up and there's a wild flower there. That's mine, says Mary. Oh, yes, Mary. Flowers are life. And then she opened another one and a butterfly flew out. And a little boy named Isaac said, oh my, oh my, isn't that wonderful? Yes, the teacher said, that is wonderful. That is life. And then she opened another egg and there was a, a rock basically in there. And that's when a young boy raised his hand and said, teacher, that's mine. Well, what does the rock mean, she said. Well, look at the back of the rock. There's moss there. Life can grow anywhere. Ah, she said, very wise. And then she had another one she picked up, and she, it felt really light. Ah, she had a feeling this was Stephen's. And that's what it was, because Stephen jumped up and said, Teacher, that's my egg. Oh, she didn't want to open that egg, but she did. And when she opened it, she looked at both of her hands. There was nothing in the egg. She said, but Stephen, there's nothing in the egg. And Stephen said to her, but teacher, wasn't the tomb empty? And she sat down in her chair and cried. For Stephen knew more about the resurrection than she did. And when he died, two months later, because he had been so sick, people who came to the funeral, funeral were amazed to see that on the casket there were all kinds of plastic eggs and all of them were empty. Stephen understood what the early Christians celebrated and Christians have celebrated since the time of Christ. Namely, that the resurrection proves that Jesus is God. If he had just died, so what? He would have died like anybody else. But Jesus' ministry, Jesus' life, Jesus' life was affirmed by God the Father in raising him from the dead. Christians have always believed in the resurrection. And we can talk about so many things about Easter, 
But the undeniable fact is that at the core of what we believe is Jesus rose. If Jesus had not risen from the dead, the entire history of the world would have been rewritten or changed, or we would not even be here to see it. Everything would be different. But because Jesus rose from the dead, we have hope. We believe that indeed God loves us. We believe that there is another life to come. We believe that there is hope. There is hope in all the pain that we suffer. There is hope in all we go through each and every day. God loves us. Oh my goodness, God loves us so much. And so on this day we say rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be glad. From all divine word missionaries throughout the world, we wish each and every one a very, very happy Easter. And to remember, the tomb is empty. Thank you.